Well, today we are putting a spotlight on Bite Back, a nonprofit working to close the digital divide in the district. We're joined now by Joe Paul, Chief Executive Officer at Bite Back. It is great to have you with us here on Good Morning Washington. And we always love learning about uh, new great organizations in our community. Tell us a little bit about uh, Bite Back and your mission for those that aren't familiar with it. Great question. First, thanks so much for having me. Yeah. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't say yesterday we received nonprofit of the year from DC Chamber of Commerce and uh, we're extremely excited. So I had to say that and a shout out to the, to the team. Uh, but Biteback's mission is to close the digital divide by providing under-resourced communities an equitable pathway into the digital economy. Uh, we do that through transformative digital literacy, digital advocacy, and tech certification programs. Uh, and so basically, what problem we're solving is by 2025, there'll be 85 million jobs that are lost wow. due to artificial intelligence, robotics, you, know, you name it, blockchain, sensors. And the good news is this fourth industrial revolution will create about 93 million new jobs, but it doesn't account for the upskilling of this 85 mm -hmm. to this 93. So that's where Bike Back comes in. All right. We come in to make sure that these folks can be prepared for the future of work important work that needs to be done. Congratulations on the Thank recent you. award. Thank so you. how much does it cost to participate in the program? Great question. So the good news is uh, it costs our program participants absolutely nothing. Uh, we offer full scholarships. If you're accepted into our program, we offer full scholarships. Now, it does cost us something. Yes. Um, it's about seven to $10,000 per program participant to get them from point A uh, to point B. Uh, what's incredible about that opportunity is nationally for the CompTIA A+, plus exam that kind of gets you into into tech there's about a 30 percent pass rate at bite back seven out of ten of our scholars are passing on the first try wow which is incredible so talk about how you do fund the program great question so we fund it through individual donors uh, we have uh, corporations we have foundations uh, the infrastructure uh, bill that just was passed should should actually give us some uh, some support as well uh, but our goal is really to set up corporate partnerships work with different foundations who help fund uh, fund our programs. Talk about the pathway for success and how that you make that happen. Great question. So I can give you a real world example. Uh, we had a program participant, a scholar who was working at IHOP. She was a server at IHOP. Um, she was making a couple hundred dollars a week. Uh, and she saw one of our bus ads while she was waiting for the bus. And incredibly, um, she decided to pick up the phone and call. She called, she uh, got in touch with one of our program uh, managers and made it through the process. She trusted the process, trusted us. Six months later, she received her certification. She's now working in IT, making $85,000 a year. Wow. It cost her nothing. Um, and her community, family, everybody's been, been affected, so. Changing lives. Changing, changing lives. communities. Exactly, changing it communities. All, it's a ripple effect. 100%. Yeah, 100%. I know there's people watching right now that probably want to make that phone call. So uh, talk to them about the next steps of getting a hold of you, getting into the programs and things like that. Absolutely. We, uh, we're, we're, we're accepting folks with open arms. So if you're interested in Bite Back and, and trying to find out more about what we do and how to get involved, you can go to biteback.org, B-Y-T-E-B-A-C-K.org. Excellent. Congratulations. Please keep up the very important work in our community, and I'm glad that it's being recognized. Appreciate the feature. We'll see you again soon. You bet. All right. We'll have more of Good Morning Washington right after the break. Thank <laughs> you.